Hey guys, so I'm just laying here relaxing. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about spiritual mojo <laughs> because I, I put a video up like a while back, I think. I think it was like a while back and it was all about like how to get your, your spiritual mojo back. I think, I want to say it, I did a recent one too. Um, but I wanted to talk about that again because that's exactly what I am um, experiencing right now. So spiritual mojo is basically in my terms, it is um, your connection to spirit. It is the way that you connect with your higher self. It is the way that you resonate with spiritual spirituality and divination and whatever it is that you do. So for me, when I am tapping into my spiritual, my higher self, um, I do that in the form of tarot cards. I read tarot. Um, but some people do it in other ways. So for me, when I am not feeling my spiritual mojo, I usually don't feel as attracted to my cards. Um, I don't feel called to be on social media as often. Um, I can't read like a spiritual book or I just I just can't get into it and it's usually because I overwork myself it's usually because I don't give myself time to break from life um it's also it also happens a lot I noticed um when I am doing a lot in my real real life <laughs> um versus my spiritual life um and so that's exactly what I found and I have found that after the 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 lunar eclipse that we had last week, I think it was, on the 12th, um, that ever since the lunar eclipse, I have been feeling disconnected. So um, I've just been feeling very kind of like a need for a reset, um, a need for a change. So I am going to be going through and just kind of tidying up my online shop um, and going through maybe some of my old Instagram posts and deleting stuff. Um I really want to like spruce up my um my Facebook group and just just really like kind of like a big cleanse. Um but I've also found that for me to gain back my spiritual mojo, I have to make sure that my real life, my real life, <laughs> that other side of myself um, is in order and it's not right now. So what I mean by that in without getting too personal um, is I took on a second job and I know that some of you guys are probably like why would you do that you know because I'm I work part-time um, and then cackling moon is like the other half of my business but I did take on a second job because husband and I are so close to um, it's it's getting closer to the end of the year and we're gonna be house hunting in January God willing so um, I just want to make sure that we have the means the financial means that we have as much saved as we possibly can between now and January so that we're comfortable and we can get a house. I want to afford it. I want to like not be able to stress about it. I just, money is always that one thing that I stress out so much over. So um, I took it upon myself to apply for a job that a friend who is also a reader um, had told me about. And so she mentioned it and I just feel really called to do it so I did it and um, I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to seeing like how that pans out and what you know what comes out of that um, but yeah it's been a really good experience I think um, it's been a lot of new stuff which is where I feel a little kind of just tired and um, you know, anytime like you're like new in a job and like, you're learning new stuff, you feel very like overwhelmed, like that kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. But I know that eventually that'll pass and it'll feel natural and it'll feel comfortable. And so I am looking and definitely and definitely looking forward to seeing like how that turns out. But because that part of my life is, you know, just in the whole process phase I want to say everything else that I was totally like excited over is kind of just kind of like in a standstill right now so um I guess I just wanted to come on here and just kind of vent a little bit about that and see where you guys are at in your process you know and also just say like if you've noticed I have kind of been a little MIA 
um, on the social media, it's because of that. So um, as I sort things out and get myself, you know, back on track, um, you know, you'll see me pop on here and there, but especially today and tomorrow, taking time just for me. I don't even know if I'll do the dailies or not, we'll see, but just thought I would jump on here and say hi and talk spiritual mojo with you guys. And um, if you have any questions or, you know, want some tips on how you can kind of embrace your own spiritual mojo if you're feeling disconnected, um, my best tip for you guys is to just be, take some time to meditate and take your time to like come to center, but also slow down, take a break, um, and then cleanse not just yourself but also cleanse your space your website your shop your space your room your home um a lot of times i find when when, when i do that i feel newness it's like a new feel and then i get excited all over again so that's just one tip for me to you guys and then also like dive into a really positive spiritual like positive book that usually for me like something like that helps me too it gets me kind of pumped and ready <laughs> um and yeah but I just wanted to come on here and say hello and share that little piece so so you guys know like what's going on and where I'm at but um yeah stop by say hi leave a comment and I will touch base with you guys soon bye my loves